What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions and functions, and we're going to talk about the URI host function in the URI collection. So the URI host function allows you to pass in a URI and then it will return back to you the host name of it, so the, the domain of where it is. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in uh, Power Automate here, I've got a manual trigger flow here, and I have a compose action here. Click into inputs, go across to expression, scroll down, and we get to the URI parsing functions. So this first one says, returns the host, uh, returns the host from a URI, uh, and it's got one parameter that we're passing in, which is the URI. So if I click into here, uh, we get the brackets, and then if I add uh, some single quotation marks, uh, we're going to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash HTTPS forward slash uh, Google.com. So once I have that in, we can click OK. It goes into there, we can hover over, and we can uh, test this flow. So we have to save it first, just a brand new flow. Click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. It's just a manual trigger flow. So we just run the flow, click done, run successfully, and we can see that the output is google.com. So what if we change this a little bit more as well? What if we put google.com forward slash uh, search forward slash APIs and click update? Let's see what this returns. So we click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. We run the flow and we see that it's still just returning us this host name. So that's what this does. This takes in a URI that you're passing in and then what it'll do is it will strip out all the rest of the details and just return back to you the host name of what you are looking for. So what do you guys think? Is this something that you'll be using a lot? Is it something you use at the moment? I always want to know the use cases in the comments down below. If you like this video and you feel that it was useful, please share it with your friends and please drop a like on the video. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.